Well, it might be my least favourite fighter, but it's a quick little thing. When it first appeared in 1954, the super fast, lightweight F-104 Starfighter was dubbed the missile with a man in it. Designed by Lockheed's Kelly Johnson, it was both small and simple. Indeed, the F-104s were memorably described by journalist Tom Wunfy as chimneys with little razor blade wings. The first combat capable aircraft of sustaining speeds above Mach 2, the Starfighter, had an outstanding rate of climb that made it, in principle, an ideal interceptor. In May 1958, it claimed both the world absolute speed and absolute height records, making it the first aeroplane ever to hold both simultaneously. Unfortunately, the Starfighter had a poor rate of turn, a severe drawback in air to air combat, and could also be difficult to fly. It had some positively bad handling characteristics and unfortunately punished pilot error. Although the US Air Force ordered 722 of the aircraft, it ultimately took delivery of only 296. The US's ally, West Germany, operated more F-104s than the US Air Force, but may have well regretted it. Of the 917 West German Starfighters, 270 were lost in accidents. German pilots called it Das Widowmaker. The aircraft nevertheless flew with five NATO nations, and the final production total was a highly respectable 2,580. Stats. Power plant, 115,800 pound static thrust General Electric J79GE 11A after burning turbo jet engine F104G. Wingspan, 21 feet 11 inches. Wing area, 196 square feet. Length, 54 feet 9 inches, gross weight 28,779 pounds, maximum speed 1,450 miles per hour at 36,000 feet. Amazing. Combat radius 754 miles on maximum internal fuel load, accommodation one crew and first flights 7th of February 1954 XF-104 prototype and 5th of October 1960 for the F-104G. <laughs>